Girl, you give me feelings in the summertime Something about the weather in July But I'm about as fickle as the sands of time So I don't wanna call you mine There's a little amber in my heart that flickers Nothing seems to cultivate the flame Hi babes, welcome to my YouTube channel If this is your first time, you know the drill Hit the subscribe button, like this video, join the family and yeah in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to do this very trendy um, type of braids it's called jungle braids some people call it jungle braids others call it butterfly butterfly braids and another set of people call it flower braids i don't know but those are the possible names so the first thing you want to do is as usual part your hair as you would if you're doing a regular box braid and of course i'm just prepping my extension and this is one way that works for me i know some people divide it into two and then put it in between but i just like to do mine like this and i'm going to divide the hair of the mannequin into three pieces as you would see and once i do that i'm just going to keep braiding i'm going to braid like five times down before i start um, taking out little pieces and when you do this you count another five and take out a little bit on the left side count five braid five times take out um, a little bit on the right side you're gonna keep on alternating um, once you do five and then there's something I also wanted to mention you don't pull when you're about to turn you turn completely and then you pull what this does is that it makes it easier for the the hair that you're pulling to easily slip um, through your finger and you know you get the pull that you want so <laughs> i don't know how best to explain it but i'm sure once you start practicing you're gonna get the hang of it so count five times and then um once you're on the fifth one you pull the fourth one so don't pull on the one that your fingers are on pull on the one that is just before the knots i'm gonna try to insert a picture that explains in detail what i mean but um i'm sure once you start doing it you're going to get the hang of it and maybe in the um, course of this video you're gonna see a more detailed close-up video on how I did it but yeah let me know if you have any questions in the comment section if it wasn't clear um, yeah you can do this with all kinds of um, you can do knotless braids you can do box braids and what's not I really really like this style I'm definitely going to try it on myself because it looks super cute um just imagine doing this and then coiling the ends Ooh, girl yeah so i can't wait for that man So I'm just basically braiding it all the way down. Um, make sure to take your time with this. It's I think this is gonna take more time. I mean, just because I'm doing it on a mannequin head, it's quite different from when you're doing it on an actual human being head. Um, it's gonna take more time because of the pulling that you're doing. But this reminds me of the butterfly uh, full slocks which was super cute so so trendy it was the in thing last year it's still it's still very much trendy this year but everybody's just raving about this jungle braids i hope you guys were able to learn something yeah this is the close-up that I, I i promised earlier this is what it's looking like i can't wait to show you um close up of how this looks it looks like a bunch of flowers it's super cute and i really like the colors that i used if you're wondering about the brown color i mixed color 27 color 30 and color 33 just in case you're wondering and a little and and, and blonde as well not 27 color blonde color 30 and color 33 and a little bit of black to achieve that brown color um and here this is just a close up um I'm just gonna try my possible best to show you guys how to do it so you divide the hair into three pieces for the three pieces of braids 
braiding hair that you have and you just keep braiding you're gonna braid up to five times so you move your hand alternating each other five times and then you start pulling the reason why you're doing this is that you don't want to start pulling close to the roots if not the grip on the roots will not be as tight anymore so take your time with this make sure you start pulling um just when you are a reasonable distance away from the roots yes you just keep pulling as you go watch carefully and what you want to do is you pull just before the hand can you see so i'm holding it with one finger and the the part just above it is what i'm pulling if you pull the part that you're holding it's going to disrupt the flow of your braiding so you want to make sure that you've already weaved you've zipped it and then you're pulling it makes it easier and then the hair slides smoothly out um you can do this all the way to the end or you can just braid the tips regularly like you would with your regular box braids but yeah that's basically it if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up like this video share with your friends and most importantly please join the family um, I look forward to welcoming you to the family. If you are joining the family from this video, don't forget to leave a comment down below so that we can welcome you properly. Until my next one, guys. Love you. Stay safe, you know. And let me know how it goes, okay? Alright, ladies. Bye.